My friends, today we are making the ultimate breakfast burrito. Most of the items are common kitchen food items. More importantly from this video, you will get three recipes, home fries, salsa, and avocado sour cream recipe. Let's start with the salsa. We're gonna need four Roma tomatoes. Cut out the tomato core that connects to the vine. From there, you can either rough chop or dice up the tomato. It doesn't really matter because it's all gonna get pulsed into the blender or Robocoop. Unless you're going for a more chunkier salsa, then you can blend like 90% of it, then save the chunks afterwards to incorporate. Next, we're gonna add half of a red onion. You can use yellow onions. The taste difference is minimal when cooked, but some say the taste of red onion is milder raw. Red onion is richer in antioxidants, which could be better for those looking for some health benefits. Just peel the onion, rough chop it. Like I said, it's all going in one blender. We need about one third cup of cilantro. More won't hurt in this recipe, and it worked great in mine. Flavor balances everything. You can pick off the leaves, use whatever method you like. This isn't fine dining, folks. Let's use some fresh limes. Side note, when making fresh salsa, it is always a good habit to use fresh as much as you can. The difference can be huge. Where sometimes you'll hear me say that there isn't much of a difference in a recipe. I will always note that in my videos. But here where it's mostly all fresh, uncooked ingredients, see the key word here is uncooked. That fresh quality really shines through with fresh ingredients that won't be cooked. Add in two garlic cloves, we will do a quick crush with the side of our knife, then throw it in. Don't forget to cut off the earthy ends, unless you want them. But out of all my years of chefing, I've never heard anybody say, please throw the earthy ends in. Next, add in one jalapeno. Make sure you deseed it. Now, could you add in more jalapenos? Yes, the same goes for the one can of small green chilies. Add less or more depending on how hot or mild you want your salsa. Finally, add about 16 ounces of crushed tomatoes. Can will do unless you want another project for this burrito, which I'll show you crushed tomatoes from scratch another day in another video. Finishing up this salsa, we're gonna add everything into the blender. From there, we are just gonna simply blend everything together. I like to dip my burrito into the salsa, and personally, I'm not into spicy food. But this recipe I came up with is on another level. It was a mild enough to my likings, so make sure you watch till the end. Next, on to the avocado sour cream, which I used Greek yogurt instead of the sour cream. Also, for those wondering, the full recipes of everything in this video will be down in the description. Okay, moving on. We're gonna need to chiffonade six leaves of basil, one avocado, and one fresh lemon squeezed. Mash that avocado with a fork, Use a bowl that's big enough to fit all the ingredients. Squeeze the lemon in. I only used half. Add a half teaspoon of granulated garlic or powder, one fourth teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper sauce. I'm using Frank's Red Hot, my personal favorite. This isn't to add any heat, just a flavor enhancer. Add a little salt and pepper. Add the basil in. For the Greek yogurt, I use plain, about six to eight ounces. For a little splurge on this recipe, you could try a flavored yogurt, maybe a lime, vanilla, or a lemon. The choice is yours. See, the greatest thing about cooking is that there is no rules. The only verdict that should happen in the end is that it tastes good. If not, it's back to the drawing board. Okay, stir all these ingredients together like so. Set aside. Let's prepare the potatoes, aka home fries, next. I'm using this blend of bite-sized potatoes. They were perfect for home fries. Ideally, you wanna use a red or a Yukon gold, but russets or any type of potato will work. So grab whatever you can. We're just gonna cut them into quarters. You want them bite-sized. Also keep the skin on so it holds the potato together. Throw these in a pot, wash the potatoes off right in the pan, fill it up with water, then put it on the stove so it can boil. A low rolling boil is perfect for about 20 minutes or just between cooked and uncooked since we are frying them afterwards on the griddle. Now set these to the side. Shred some cheddar cheese, cook up some bacon, scramble some eggs. The prep part is now done. Just a side note, you can use your stove at home to cook this burrito right in a regular pan. I just use this griddle for video purposes. 
Now to the fun part. Let's get sizzling. Organize everything that will be cooked together, then plan out the order. Ideally, you want to throw down the food items that will take the longest first. So that will be the bacon and home fries in my instance. On the home fries, we're adding salt and pepper, granulated garlic, smoked paprika, seasoning salt, and some butter. Sometimes I use bacon fat and allow that flavor to explode on my home fries. How you want your bacon cooked is personal preference always, so cook as long or short as you want. We'll talk about this more later at the end of the video. Start the sausage. Don't forget to stir those home fries around so that the spices are evenly blended and we get a nice even crisp. As your food cooks, take off the items as you're done. You want to work fast so that everything is hot when you wrap your burrito. Look how good these home fries look. Beautiful color. We made a little extra to have by itself after we were done eating the burritos. Finally, throw those scrambled eggs down. How you scramble them is personal preference once again, which is between soft or hard scrambled eggs. Normally, I scramble them soft, but my girl's in the fan of soft scrambled eggs, so hard it is. Don't forget to heat your flour tortillas. This helps them not to rip or tear when rolling the burritos. Now that everything's cooked, let's assemble the burritos. Notice how I say burritos. Yes, we are cooking multiple. My girlfriend and I have been planning shooting this video all day long, and now it's nighttime, so we are hungry. Which, to be totally honest, when adulting, there's never a wrong or right time to eat breakfast, if you ask me. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. Assembly order can be important. Flavor, color, and texture meshing with one another is always important in culinary. Anyways, my order assembly is as follows. Tortilla wrap down first, then spread out those home fries nice and evenly. Then I split the sausage in half and added, or maybe you use ground breakfast sausage, who knows. Next I add the bacon. Side note, my girl loves crispy bacon. Then those scrambled eggs. Don't forget to add that shredded cheddar we did in the beginning. Finally, add a little bit of salsa right into the burrito. Sometimes I even add a little to the home fries when cooking. Or you could add the avocado sour cream and salsa inside the burrito. Listen, this just adds another dimension to the flavor. You can do as you please. I like a little inside then dipping my burrito into the salsa also and sour cream. Watch to the end, you will see. Now let's wrap up this masterpiece. You can either fold the sides first, then roll, or the other method is fold the front to the middle, then the sides, and roll it up from there. Now to cook this thing, in my eyes, if you don't cook a burrito, it's just a wrap. What's your thoughts? On medium heat, throw some butter, add your burrito, and brown the sides to your desired amount. I always at least do this twice. Sometimes I try to do it all the way around. Depends on how much energy you want to put into it cut in half and now you're ready to try your artwork let's taste and talk about it so the ultimate burrito we have here today looks delicious yeah it does. looks delicious so what kind of um eggs let's talk about scrambled eggs it's highly debated some people like them. most people will say oh that's not how you do eggs they're supposed to be soft scrambled well i gotta tell you in my years of chefing a lot of people don't like them soft i myself doesn't like them soft how do you like your eggs? I like mine hard. I'm gonna try a little bit of each. I think both the combo together is great. Mm. So the next debate is bacon. I feel like some people like the bacon soft and some people like them hard and crispy. What kind of bacon person are you? Crispy. The crispier, the better. Mm. Crispier, the better. Yes. Let us know down in the comments what you like. This is very. Mm -hmm. so I think every time I have a burrito, this fresh salsa right here, banging, and this avocado yogurt, it just gives it, they just play off each other really good. Yes, and I just had my first bite of potato, and that had the perfect seasoning to it. 